What's more worrying is when uh, Dhawan takes a catch, he becomes a massage addict. He catches the ball and then he celebrates by giving himself a nice thigh massage. <laughs> But you know, it's not just our batsmen, we also have some incredible bowlers. And who's your favourite? Well, uh, mine is Yuzvendar Chahal. Hey. You know, I must say, honestly, it's only the only thing that's more difficult than picking Yuzvendar Chahal's googlies is pronouncing his first name. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> I'm going to have to go with pace. I think my favourite is undoubtedly Just Breathe Bumrah. Absolutely. Well, last but beyond a doubt, not the least, we have with us the absolute legend, MS Dhoni. Well, before we commence with the award segments, we have a very special guest amongst us. We would like to invite on stage the chairman of the RPSG group, Mr. Sanjeev Goenka, who is also the co-chair of the jury for the Indian Cricket Heroes. Mr. Sanjeev Goenka. Chin Mr. Goenka is also the co-chair of the jury. The jury had an immensely challenging and unenviable task of selecting tonight's heroes. Our jury comp comprises of the eminent persons, Mr. Harbhajan Singh, Anjum Chopra, Mohammad Kaif, and Sanju Gupta, and Ayaz Memanji. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the immense honor of inviting on stage India's all time number one all rounder and India's first World Cup winning captain, the man, the legend, the superhero, Mr. Kapil Dev. Your performances by Indian cricketers have been consistently tremendous. How difficult was it then to select just one winner in each category? I just want to say it's not difficult at all because you have a team. When it goes to the team, you just do the homework and uh, I think the people who were behind working on that, they've given us the list and it was very easy for us according to the numbers. <laughs> I think it's always difficult to select when you have great performances, several great performances. But I think at the end of the day, it is that one individual who stands out amongst a host of outstanding individuals. And so I think collectively, the jury did come to that conclusion. And we are here today to honor and celebrate these winners. Well, thank you very much, sir. We aren't done with Mr. Kapil Dev just yet because we now move on to a very special part of the show where we'll witness two incredible all-rounders talking about their on and off the field all-round abilities. These two all-rounders with their attitude and colours up style ooze more swag and nonchalance than a government babu's attitude post-lunch. <laughs> well, it's an immense privilege to invite on stage an all-rounder who has really done it all right from hitting six sixes in an over to being crowned the champion of champions to captivating us with his booming commentary to now being india's head coach if swagger had a twin brother his name would be ravi shastri so please let's welcome him with a massive round of applause asking you a very important question. When you're sitting in the dressing room and someone hits a majestic fall, do you whisper to yourself, this one has rushed to the fence like a tracer bullet? Brilliant shot to the covers fall. <laughs> I'd also like to ask, you know, when, when Kapil sir hit that unbelievable 175 against Zimbabwe in the 1983 World Cup, the BBC was on strike and thus there was no coverage of that iconic match. But one man witnessed what the world couldn't, who saw it live, and that was you. So how would you describe that innings to all us people who unfortunately didn't get to watch it? That innings changed the mindset of everyone in the dressing room. To score 175 single-handedly said it all because it, it just raised the entire morale of the team to a level that where we knew. We're destined for something special. I mean, let's say, uh, 
कपिल जी मेरा भी एक सवाल है कि ये सुनने में आया है कि 1983 वर्ल्ड कप जीतने के बाद ड्यूरिंग द सेलिब्रेशन बाकी सब जो प्लेयर्स थे मुझे नहीं पता क्या पी रहे थे लेकिन आप दूध पी रहे थे तो बुरा तो नहीं है नहीं नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं हाँ पता नहीं मैंने कहा दूध पीना बुरा है तो फिर मैं चेंज करूँ यस आई वॉज ड्रिंकिंग आई थिंक आफ्टर सच ए टेंस मोमेंट यू कम टू द ड्रेसिंग रूम फर्स्ट थिंग वॉज लेट मी हैव मिल्क एंड आई फील बैक नॉर्मल बिकॉज योर एनर्जी इज गॉन and after that i had champagne it's not i didn't oh, have champagne that's, i mean that's I, really good i like to be honest uh, well we all know the origin story of msd's very famous helicopter shot but what is the story behind sir yon nataraj shot and your chapati shot <laughs> i said chapati this is unke maza nahi aata that's the bread and butter life <laughs> i thought he was a great uh, he has very limited talent but let me let you know uh, he is my player and i would say today if he had talent of mine he would have taken 5 or 700 wicket and 10000 runs with limited talent if somebody can achieve so much i think that goes to the credit that's what it's more important i think I always used to say as a captain I said Ravi tum game baazon ko thakao apne 40 over khelo unko thaka do fir hum pitai karenge <laughs> That's how it is because he was so disciplined in his cricket very few cricketer have seen that so a lot of people used to say lot of things on the ground but his determination his mind was so strong I wish I had that type of strong mind. I like to wish Ravi and his team, Virat Kohli and entire team, good luck. We all praying for you. Good luck to you and play the best cricket. Let the best team win. Yeah, yeah. All, all the India is behind you. Just play good cricket. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's now time to announce the first set of heroes and to present these we'd like to call on stage Miss Anjum Chopra and Diana Penty. Our first hero for the night is Emerging Cricketer of the Year. Emerging Cricketer of the Year female 2019 Arundhati Reddy. Selected for Team India on the same day as veteran pacer Julian Goswami's retirement, Reddy was the X factor that can fill in the legend's shoes. Her ability to swing the ball in both directions and her super fast fielding skills made Arundhati Reddy a complete cricketer. Up and over, and this should be taken, and it is. Pooja Vastrakar. A hit the deck bowler Pooja impressed one and all during the T20 Asia Cup in 2018. Priya Punia on the fringe for the last few years a stylish batter Priya is looking to make her mark and cement a place in the top order for India. And into the boundary for four. Radha Yadav. Another teenager Radha Yadav has already started making the waves with her wicket taking abilities. This left arm spinner is poised to serve team India for a long time. Good chance. She got it. And the hero goes to Radha Yadav. Second hero for the night is the emerging cricketer of the year male and the nominees are Emerging cricketer of the year male 2019 Khalil Ahmed Khalil Ahmed has had a great start to his international career claiming 21 wickets in the limited overs format at just 21 years of age this left arm fast bowler is in the making of a champion Might have put one down but you've just got one of the best out Mayank Agarwal Mayank Agarwal debuted with a half century against Australia and showed the world why he is someone to look out for in the future. Experts witnessed the fire that he carries and were impressed with his up and coming talent. Prithvi Shaw. 
a bit of Sehwag, a pinch of Lara. This young batsman showed his class to the world with a hundred on his test debut against the West Indies. Shubman Gill, a child prodigy with limited exposure of international cricket, Shubman Gill exhibits pure class with his batting. The future of Indian cricket looks safe with emerging players like Shubman. Mike unfortunately couldn't be here with us tonight, but his best friend Kale Rahul is here to accept the award on his behalf. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'll speak on behalf of Mayank, and I'm sure it's a very, very proud moment for him. And uh, I'm sure he'll be very, very proud of this because uh, he's. To me, he's been the most uh, consistent performer in uh, Indian domestic cricket, and uh, as a as a best friend and as a teammate, I can only hope that he continues the same performances for his country. So, yeah, thank you very much. Well, congratulations, Mayank, and thank you so much, KL. Also, thank you, uh, Anjum Chopra and Diana Penty, for presenting these heroes. To present the next set of heroes, we'd like to call on stage Mrs. Preeti Goenka and Mr. Harbhajan Singh to present them. Please. In this era where even edges go for sixes, there are few superheroes called bowlers. Well, let us quickly look at the nominees for Bowler of the Year Female. Bowler of the Year Female 2019, Deepthi Sharma. Deepthi became the youngest Indian to take a five wicket haul in women's cricket. In the same game, she ended with six wickets for 20 runs. A slip didn't help. Ekta Bisht. Uttarakhand's first international woman cricketer, Ekta Bisht recently became the fifth Indian woman to cross the 100 wicket mark with 129 international wickets. Her orthodox left arm spin left her opponent stumped. Poonam Yadav. India's leading wicket taker in T20s, Poonam Yadav's leg breaks have made heads turn. Poonam became India's joint highest wicket taker in the World T20 in the West Indies last year. And Yadav gets the breakthrough. Radha Yadav. Making her debut in January 2018, Radha Yadav has since moved up the ranks rather quickly. Joint highest wicket taker for India at the World T20 in the West Indies last year, this left arm spinner is making the waves. She got it. But sabko thank you bolna chahungi kyunki award lena bahut apne aap mein apne aap mein matlab ek achievement hai kyunki maine bahut mehnat ki hai is cheez ke liye aur aur sabse bada thank you main sir ko bolna chahungi Kapil Dev sir ko kyunki main unke saath aayi kyunki maine इंडिया से बाहर अकेले कभी ट्रेवल नहीं किया। उन्होंने बहुत अच्छे से मेरे को टेक केयर मतलब बहुत अच्छे से उन्होंने मेरा ध्यान रखा। थैंक यू वेरी मच। थैंक यू टू ऑल। थैंक यू एंड कंग्रेट्यूलेशंस पूनम। आवर नेक्स्ट हीरो इज़ द बॉलर ऑफ़ द ईयर मेल एंड द नॉमिनेशन। बॉलर ऑफ़ द ईयर मेल 2019 ईश Ishan Sharma was instrumental in India's great overseas performance in 2018-19. Being the most experienced bowler of the team, Ishan performed to his true potential and came back with 33 wickets in nine test matches. Jaspreet Bumra pace, consistency and temperament. Since his international debut two years ago, Jaspreet Bumrah has risen up the ranks to be regarded as one of the best fast bowlers in the world. From deadly Yorkers to fierce bouncers, Mr. Dependable Bumrah leads the Indian bowling attack with all his ammunition. Kuldeep Yadav Kuldeep Yadav possesses the rare talent of bowling left arm leg spin. He's the ideal candidate for his captain to get the job done in tough match conditions. He could be the X-factor of the Indian team in the upcoming World Cup. 
Mohammad Shami. With passion in his eyes, Mohammad Shami guns for that perfect delivery. One of the most reliable cricketers, Shami has evolved in every format of the game and is the solid bowler every captain needs. And the half, he's dragged it back on just like that. The hero goes to Jaspreet Bumra. Obviously, it's a great feeling. Uh, it's been a breakthrough year for us in the test matches. For me personally, it was a dream to play test matches. Now, finally playing test matches for the country, it's a great feeling. And the uh, performance, when it's rewarded, it's always uh, a great feeling. So, yeah, very happy. And hopefully, uh, more hard work will bring more performances. Thank you. And a special thank you, of course, to Mrs. Preeti Goenka and Harbhajan Singh for presenting these awards. Before we continue with the distribution of heroes, we've been given a very cool but nerve-wracking responsibility of paying tribute to an absolute legend of the game. Perhaps I'm feeling as nervous as Stuart Broad was when he was running into bowl the sixth ball after he'd already been hit for, six, for five sixes by the very man we have to pay tribute to. The player in question is, of course, none other than the flamboyant Southpaw, Yuvraj Singh. Being a Padma Shri to the man of the tournament in the 2011 World Cup, Yuvraj Singh has done and won it all. Heroes Tribute Award 2019, Yuvraj Singh. See, in his younger days, he was like eight to nine hours on the field with his father. It had a very rigorous training. Yuvra Singh is Yogra Singh's dream. My friends started calling me, your son's gone crazy. I said, what has he done? He says, you know, he's hit six sixes in one over. I said, it is unbelievable. It was a beautiful feeling, absolutely. I felt very sad about broad, but then, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. <laughs> जी भारत ने अब तक दो वर्ल्ड कप जीते हैं एक 2007 में T20 वर्ल्ड कप जीता था फिर 2011 में और यूवी को मैं जब मिलता हूं मैं हमेशा यही बोलता हूं कि तेरी वजह से हम वर्ल्ड चैंपियन हैं हिम एंड एमएस धोनी दे स्टार्टेड चेजिंग लाइक 10 ओवर्स इंडिया नीडेड 80 रन्स वी आर फोर डाउन दोस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दे रियली टुक टू अ डिफरेंट लेवल सो ही वाज अ वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट गाय वी एम्बार्क्ड ऑन दिस 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 जर्नी टुगेदर व्हिच व्हिच एंडेड अप इन इन विनिंग द वर्ल्ड कप इन 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 2011 आई वुड से द अनदर इंपैक्ट द अनदर इंपोर्टेंट सीरीज एंड एंड वी ऑल न्यू दैट यूवी हैज ऑलवेज हैड बीन दैट फ्लैमबॉयंट पर्सनालिटी when we started dating, um, we went to Delhi and uh, his mother makes langar and feeds the poor. People who had no homes and had no food. Um, someone who has been so successful, that's the moment that I fell in love with him. I remember having this conversation with you where I said that you will matter when it matters most. And you did. Only later we discovered there was a bigger challenge left for you in store. Every day he thought he's going to give up, but he would call me up and said, say, Mom, that my body shakes. I cannot go on any longer. I think I need to head back. So it was like that. It was heartbreaking. It was very bad. Pack it off. You go, you go. Come on, be brave. It requires determination, grit, that uh, never give up attitude which you always possess. Next day, call up UV, where's Yuvraj? He's on the field training. So such was his determination to come back and to, you know, prove himself. And he, you know, played again. And the first time when he was going into bat, and he walked and got those 35 runs, and it was beautiful. So I think that's the way one should live. He's fiercely competitive. I have never, till date, seen him give up. When he was on the field, he was a lot of pressure he will compete with anybody. He wants to win. The almost stubborn persistence that he will, no matter what, no matter what drawbacks and setbacks he faces, he will always get up. Congratulations, Suri, on receiving this award. You fully deserve it. Unquestionably inspiring and moving. To commemorate this moment, we would like to invite on stage Mohammed Kef and Aditi Rao. <laughs> Yo 
Yuvraj, I know it's going to be difficult, but if possible, we'd love to hear you share what you're feeling right now after seeing this movie. Well, lovely to be here uh, amongst all of you. Uh, first of all, wishing the Indian team all the best for the World Cup. Uh, great journey of ups and downs. Uh, as, as, as you saw, all my friends and families, I never give up. And uh, yeah, going down the memory lane, I would say I would be very proud of myself. We all are very proud of you. It's also so good to see you, Raj's cricketing better half, Mr. Kef, here. It's especially fair to say that here at Lords, where these two during the 2002 Nat West Finals had stitched together an unforgettable partnership that led to one of India's most iconic victories. That's right. In the top 10 questions that you're asked, is this innings at number one? Yes. We were, uh, I don't know, 120 for five, and Sachin just got out. <laughs> So Kev uh, is walking in and Sachin is walking out and uh, half of the stadium has walked out. So I remember uh, just getting that part partnership, I, the way the England players were celebrating, they thought they won the game and the, the game was over. And we were two young guys just running hard, hitting the ball, don't know what we were doing actually. And I remember when we had that 100 plus partnership, I think all the Indians, they went out, they had a couple of beers and they came back. Thinking the game is still on. We won the game thanks to Mohamed Kiyar's epic innings and I think we had, India had lost nine finals before that and uh, I think that gave the belief to the Indian team that we can go and win away as well. Absolutely. So well done, Kiyar. An amazing yeah. innings, amazing innings. Well, thank you both for your immense contribution to Indian cricket and for always being a hero to all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please hear it once again for Yuvraj Singh. May I now call upon Mr. Sanjeev Goenka and Mr. Raj Kumar Rao to present our next set of heroes. Here are the nominees for Batter of the Year, Female. Batter of the Year, Female, 2019, Harmanpreet Kaur. India's highest run getter in T20s, Harmanpreet Kaur is aggressive with her batting. Having added the power to her game, Harmanpreet enchants the crowd with her mighty sixes. Oh, this is a great shot from Harmanpreet Kaur. Jamima Rodriguez. Child prodigy Jamima Rodriguez has made a smooth transition from domestic to international cricket, becoming the first ever woman cricketer to hit three sixes in an over. Jamima has a knack of smashing records. Oh, oh, oh yes, indeed, that's six. That's beautifully timed. Mitali Raj. India's most experienced batter, Mithali Raj, is the only woman to score more than 6,000 ODI runs. One of the most consistent players, Mithali has scored back-to-back -back 50s at the World T20 in 2018. Smriti Mandhana record for the fastest 50 by an Indian in T20Is of just 24 balls. Smriti Mandhana started 2019 with a bang. With 6.69 runs in 2018, Smriti averaged an outstanding 66.9 in women's ODIs. An elegant left-hander, Smriti has been India's strength in the top order. The Smriti Mandhana continues to plunder attacks around the world. Good evening, everyone. The hero goes to Smriti Mandana. First of all, good evening, everyone. And uh, thank you for this award. Uh, in the last one year has been really good for the Indian cricket team and personally for me as well. And this award is a validation that you are doing something right. And uh, and to end with, I think uh, 2017 at Lords we were playing the final uh, and uh, we really didn't, uh, we weren't able to win that cup so I really hope the boys can take the revenge and you know, win the World Cup. That will really, uh, yeah. so, all the best to all the boys and really hope we win. No pressure at all. Thank you.
congratulations, Smriti. We wish you many such performances in the future. The next hero is for the Batter of the Year male, and the nominees are Batter of the Year male 2019, Cheteshwar Pujara. The backbone of Indian Test cricket, Cheteshwar Pujara proved it again with his unflinching 521 runs down under. A historic win for Team India was very much attributed to this hero. Cheteshwar Wall Pujara brings sense and sensibility, steel and strength to the Indian team. MS Dhoni world's best finisher. MS Dhoni started 2019 with a bang. He scored 350s in ODIs against Australia. This returning form of MSD, the nation's hero, leading up to the World Cup, has brought a sigh of relief for a billion people across the country. Be six. Rohit Sharma. Rohit Sharma's batting is poetry in motion. He looks calm and composed whenever he takes the crease. Rohit Sharma has scored seven centuries in white ball cricket in 2018-19. Century for Rohit Sharma. Shikhar Dhawan. It's astonishing how Dhawan maintains consistency in scoring big runs with such an impressive strike rate. His determination to do well in ICC tournaments is one of the most valuable assets for Team India. This is called square, side result, and that'll be 50 for Shikhar Dhawan. The hero goes to Rohit Sharma. Miss Patralekha and Mr. Sanjog Gupta to present the next set of heroes. Every year, India's premier T20 tournament regales us with the most thrilling matches. We now look at the players who are responsible for us having no nails. Well, here are the nominees. Best performance in India's premier T20 tournament. Jaspreet Bumrah. Alzari Joseph Andre Russell and the hero goes to Andre Russell. Well, I guess Andre Russell isn't here more than is the great at his heights. But he has the great Karthik to collect it on his behalf. <laughs> uh, I think this year's uh, IPL has been a very special tournament for Andre Russell. And, uh, he genuinely deserves this award. Uh, you know, I wish him all the best and uh, I just hope he doesn't do anything close to what he did in IPL against us uh, in the World Cup. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Dinesh, and congratulations to Andre Russell. Well, if you're a Team India supporter, the next hero will reignite those painful memories that you've been trying to suppress. Here are the nominees for Best Performance by an International Player versus India. Best Performance versus India. Sam Curran. Shai Ho. Usman Khwaja Moin Ali And the hero goes to Young Sam Curran from England Vanessa will collect the award on his behalf. Yeah, what can I say? Um, England going to win the World Cup. Am I right? In front of the India team? They don't seem very happy about this. Um, okay, thanks anyway, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. All right, next up we have a very special part of the show. When the word hero 
is asked for examples. It takes the names of Yuvraj Singh, Harbhajan Singh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, and Virat Kohli. Please welcome all of them up on stage with a huge round of applause. We've heard that you follow a superstition before every match. You do believe no one notices it, but since we have got to hear about it, someone is definitely noticing. Is it true or are we in the dark about this? No, uh, I think most of the cricketers are superstitious about a lot of things. And I think we call it more routine than anything else. You know, so we keep figuring out, okay, left leg, right leg. So I was also someone who was like, okay, when I go into the, once I go inside the field, you know, I would take my left leg. Then after a while, I got confused. I was like, whether it was left or right. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm better when I have more options. You know, the, the moment I have only two options, I get confused. Like a lot of time, tosses. So there was a time I lost like 29 out of 32 or 33 tosses. And most of the test matches were in India. So a lot of times I would go and I'll be like, you know, okay, I want to change, you know, what I have called. And it was during IPL. I was like, okay, I don't remember what I called in the last game. So, you know, it was every, every time it was new, new to me. So, I've kept changing a lot of things, uh, routine, because it's more controllable. At last, we can say, okay, that was something that was in my hand. You know, I could have controlled it, whether it's the gloves, whether it's the pads or something. And I think 100% cricketers, you know, they, they have this superstition, oblique, routine. You know, you may call it whatever you want. It, it, uh, since... Uh MSG is not going to talk about uh, this year. I was just noticing. I've seen him, you know, he's very cool, calm, composed when he goes out to bat. But when he's outside watching the game, he's not MS Dhoni. You know what he does? Before every ball is ball, he takes it round and he just does. Stand like this. That was for that game. <laughs> I have to figure out something for every game. We've also heard that you are quite the Garam Khun. Any memorable fights with uh, Sangakara during the World Cup Finals that you'd like to relive since he is presently here with us? He's president of NCC, so I can't talk to him and anything about him. So, on the field we were trying to win games for, uh, for our respective countries and uh, you know, in game it's like that, about Sangha, it does happen, you know that. But you started it. <laughs> It's always the wicket keeper who start from behind the wicket. I never so, said anything. No, you don't. <laughs> Our wicket keeper don't say anything. <laughs> but uh, 15 wickets, 362 runs, four man of the match awards, and then of course the man of the tournament. Tumhare andar yubi konsi mata aage thi jab tumi tournament khel rahe the. Well, I think uh, it was a memorable World Cup. Uh, Thanks to Mahi, he gave me bowling at the right time. Uh, that time, five fielder rule was there, so I could actually, you know, show my uh, skills as a bowler. Bowl is sakta shabdo me ke what it meant to us, and hopefully uh, this year uh, these can, guys can repeat it. And now, finally, Virat, we hear that you listen to hardcore Punjabi folk music before you go out to bat. Look, Abhi, um, everyone likes Punjabi music. I remember... Absolutely. I remember once um, at Mr. Singh's house, we were all together. <laughs> and I remember this incident. Actually, it's let's take the conversation away from cricket and focus on Farhan for a minute. Um, we were all enjoying dancing to Punjabi. Um, I think it was uh, Milka, Bhag Milka Bhag had released. And um, we were all dancing and... Um, so we're playing Havan Karenge and all these songs and you know, he was really having a good time and then we played Punjabi music. The next minute and he was totally into like Havan Karenge and someone just stopped it and played a Bhangra song and he's like, he just stood there and he walked out. <laughs> he, walk, he was standing in the balcony, he's like, I remember from that time, everyone likes Punjabi music and just gets people going. So, yeah. <coughs> that is true. That. that is true. Sorry, do you want to say something? You? No, it's better if I don't say anything about the night. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you, Yuvraj. Thank you, Virat. Thank you, Bhaji. Thank you, Dhoni.
Ladies and gentlemen, we now like to invite Mr. Sanjeev Goenka and Mr. Kapil Dev to present the final hero of the night. Here's a look at this year's superheroes, the nominees for the Cricketer of the Year are... Cricketer of the Year 2019, Hardik Pandya. Crowd favourite and big hitter Hardik Pandya demolishes the opposition with his batting and breaks partnership with his bowling. As an accomplished all-rounder, Hardik stands tall for Team India in every department. Batting, bowling and fielding. Close, very, very close, yes. Jaspreet Bumra. Pace, consistency and temperament. Since his international debut two years ago, Jaspreet Bumrah has risen up the ranks to be regarded as one of the best fast bowlers in the world. From deadly Yorkers to fierce bouncers, Mr. Dependable Bumrah leads the Indian bowling attack with all his ammunition. Smriti Mandhana holding the record for the fastest 50 by an Indian in T20Is of just 24 balls. Smriti Mandhana started 2019 with a bang. With 669 runs in 2018, Smriti averaged an outstanding 66.9 in women's ODIs. An elegant left-hander, Smriti has been India's strength in the top order. Smriti Mandhana continues to plunder attacks around the world. Jamima Rodriguez. Child prodigy Jamima Rodriguez has made a smooth transition from domestic to international cricket, becoming the first ever woman cricketer to hit three sixes in and over. Jamima has a knack of smashing records. Oh, oh, oh yes, indeed. That's six. That's beautifully timed. Jaspreet Bhumra. Again, I actually didn't expect this, uh, but yeah, very happy. And working with experienced coaches, they've seen my graph. They wanted me to play all formats. Now we've done that. And so all the hard work is giving a lot of rewards. So yeah. to sincerely thank the RP Sanjeev Goenka Group, Star Sports, the Virat Kohli Foundation and Cornerstone for this fabulous initiative. We would also like to thank our esteemed jury for their invaluable time. We'd like to thank our beverage partner, Ocean Beverages, venue partner, Lords, the home of cricket, hospitality partner, Danubius, PR partner, Sterling Media, and digital partner, Hotstar. Thanks to each and every one of you. We wish you, of course, not only the best for the World Cup, but for everything after and beyond. And may you continue being what you've always been, our heroes and our inspiration. Thank you very, very much. Good night.